Tab on over. Okay, I think we're all set. Here we are. I didn't have a joke. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BNO stream today on this fine 13th of March 2023. I hope you've had a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. I'm feeling pretty funky fresh, pretty pretty hip, pretty down with the down with the business. I don't know what that means. Um, but uh, I've felt pretty alright. Uh yeah, pretty all right. We'll just say that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I don't have too much to say really on on that as a, uh, a thing, but how about let's jump right into the gizane. The gizane? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Greetings, Blub. You're here right on time. Cue start at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of the stream. Well, not the beginning of the game because I've, I've played two and a half hours last week, but uh, what is Indicia? I've, I've seen Indicio before as a word. I've never, like, seen anyone write it down like that. Maybe they're just like, we got so much room on the Game Boy, we gotta fit that word in. Um, one other thing I also want to note about this Game Boy Color game, uh, in particular, is that it's Bob's favorite. Uh, but, <laughs> but, or one of your favorite, rather. I don't know if you can pick favorites when it comes to the Game Boy Color. It's great. I love this, like, parallax going on, even though it's a real simple effect of just, like, um, you know, various sprites scrolling across, and, uh, if anyone's ever done the UFO test, this is the UFO test. You prefer the second one? I, yeah, I definitely feel like some of these games are gonna have, a superior sequelitis going on, except maybe the PS2 version, if I ever do that one. Um, because the PS2 version, uh, technically was made after the second movie game on the PS2, so it is the sequel, technically. Um, but no, one thing I love about this title screen, there's no demo, you just sit on it. That's supposed to be Hogwarts in the back there as well. Very ominous, so. Anyway, uh, in the last stream, this was the beginning of the game. I got all the way to doing, uh, there's that music again. I got all the way to check it out the class list. I did about half of them. Now I, if I was a betting man, Herbology and the Broom Flight class would be outside. So the question is, where would the history be? Because I've done defense against, uh, de blah, 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 defense against the Dark Arts. I've been, I've been getting some things. I don't know if I've gotten everything, but I've definitely noticed, like, some things like, uh, do it in the library to get some extra stuff. There's, yeah, there's, there's that. It's just like, there's gonna be times when it's just like, I'm walking past and suddenly, oh, okay. Do it in the library. So, I mean, here's the library. Is, is this all over the place? Like, pressing A to get stuff? The trouble is, the enemies keep decently kicking my butt until they just stop. They will stop kicking my butt at some point. Uh... It's, it definitely, like, at least there's no harsh penalty to dying. You just wake up in the hospital, you don't lose money, I think. Uh, but yeah, I, I I'm, I'm gonna say I've, I've forgotten some of the voices I've given all the characters in the past week, unfortunately, so. Uh, excuse me for doing different voices, but, uh, praise me for... It, keeping it fresh. I don't know. I don't know if I should really, really put it like that. But I'm pretty sure, like, I, I pressed A a bunch, but I also kind of beelined to where I need to go. But yeah, there's witches and wizards cards everywhere. And then there's just like, what is this? What is going on here? And you get caught out, and then there's a giant purple frog. I still also do not have a regular, like, um, solution to what enemies are weak to what. And then Harry has been poisoned, because he's purple, which means he's gonna die at some random point. And that purple, that gets so rough. Does he unpurple between battles? I hope he does. Maybe. Next level's pretty soon, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, but yeah, extra spells. Do you mean like extra witches and wizards cards? Oh my gosh, he's getting caught on all the ledges. 
Because, yeah, I know I didn't walk around. When I was a kid, I entered Hogwarts and I was, uh... Wow, there's a lot of money in the, in the books. I was supposed to go to the first class. I got scared by the statue on floor one, so I went back up and played a few hours going to the hospital wing and leveling in the room behind that. Yeah, I definitely feel like uh, there's good value in just, like, you know, throwing yourself at these enemies. Uh... But it's definitely, I mean, if if I, if I was a, an idealist, the rats are weakest to Vertimilius, followed by Vermilius. Yeah, there's Vertimilius over here. So this is the green one. It's about the same amount of damage. I think there's too much variability on the amount of damage you do with the spells to really, like, know what's better or worse. Um, if I'm gonna take the Pokemon example, uh... Pokemon just says it's super effective. You don't have to guess whether your move is better or, or not. Ah, there you go. Potion recipe right there. I used to know the weaknesses of everything by trial and error. You played this so much. Who's gonna know that you gotta just like press A on that wall? And you get these card combinations, you get the potions thing. There's another potions recipe. Yeah, who is actually gonna know this? Getting a lot of goodies, though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's got two fours. And it's got enemies that pop out right in front of me. That's a big rat, though. Oh. I'm probably just gonna cop it at this point. I think outside the library was only money and cards. Oh, so it's just the library that gives you spells. <laughs> it makes sense, like, if I'm gonna pick one place. I'm just gonna use the duo. Get him with the duo. Wow, two damage. I deserve to die for that one. And Harry falls asleep in the library, like most people do. You said a room behind? Oh my goodness. There's a room behind here. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Surprisingly, 20 years will... Uh, you know, there are some things that never leave you. Um, and I actually have uh, some some decent examples of the- wow, zero damage. It's so- okay, real talk, it's kind of irritating being only one party member. Because it means that any time you use a spell, and it just doesn't do as much damage as you want, now you gotta sit through two other attacks here. Yeah, it's nice and convenient. Oh, because you could just talk to the person and they'll heal you up as well. Why two? Why two damage? See, I was thinking I was underleveled, but now I just don't know. Sorry, I, I was thinking I was overleveled. I... okay, what is this rat different to the other rat? Is this guy weak to Vertimilius, but the small rats are weak to Vermilion? I'm underleveled? Well, not anymore! But like, okay, so I'm level 16 now. I don't quite get the, the, the pacing on the levels. On, sorry, on the, uh, like, well actually yeah, the levels. Like, suddenly out of the beginning of the game, every enemy is in like, kick your butt mode. I think I leveled to around level 40 here, right upon reaching Hogwarts. It is a grindy game. I was a little worried about that, because I was thinking, oh, I'm getting, you know, good progress for the game, but, uh, yeah, if, uh... Oh, I thought I got the menu to flip out for a hot moment. If, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, go back a few frames and just, like, watch if the menu bugged out on me for a second. I don't know what I was pressing to make that happen. I just remember the journey to Hogwarts across the lake and through the dungeons was super hard. It definitely was a bit, like... You know... <laughs> it would catch you off guard. I only played this game twice. But you did remember that there's tons of stuff in the library, which I shall go back and investigate, and then I'm just gonna do the classes, because it's not like anything's stopping me from doing the classes. Yet. This will be famous last words. Second game much better and less grindy. 
We have super strong story bosses. Oh gosh. Now my brain's like, oh god, where's the library? Oh my goodness. I I do wish there was some indicator of what floor I was on though. I think this is the floor where the library was. This is the upper floor, I think. This doesn't seem like a no, it must be the next floor down. I really recommend you grind a level 40 or 50 off screen after stream. Dude, okay, real talk, the soft expectation I was gonna have was beat the game today. Okay, so that that is just two floors. That's just two floors. But it's weird, because like I'm able to take out the enemies. Uh, the current task is I have to go to three classes out of six. I've done three, I gotta do another three. Um, oh, it was, it was the floor below, because I remember Dun Duncy, Duncy Alien, I don't know how to describe it. Alright, well, let's just go, go for it. Uh, done the troll yet? I have done the troll. No, I haven't done the troll. No, we haven't done the troll. Is the troll gonna be a, uh, what's, uh, what's another RPG, like, brick wall boss? Go to the astronomy classroom in floor seven. Do you have to do the troll now, or do you do the troll like later? Triple big white rat fights. I was just being troll is just, yeah. I was just thinking like the troll seems like it'd come up rather than me just wandering and judge my progress. I'll well, see how it is, but. I hate when the enemies, like, appear directly in front of you. Okay, so big rat, Vermilius. Little rat, Vermilion. I mean, I, I'm level 16, so I'm not, like, endgame level if, uh, if <laughs> level 40 is what you were just saying. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure the bat was just full pen yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Kinda took that one. <laughs> AFK for a biot. What is that? A still here but can't write. What will be a biot? A big indiscriminate amount of time. Uh but yeah, so uh yeah, this past week has been fairly alright. Um I guess the big news of the week has been uh various bank failures in the US so if you are a bank person uh please be very careful because uh when banks fail it is not very fun for uh, people because it's kind of like I think I saw like one person say like the unfortunate part of bank failures is that there's not I don't know if I fully understand or agree with this opinion, but he said, like, it's, uh, yeah, legit, am I just getting spells by just, like, tapping A next to all these, like, front-facing bookshelves? Like, almost all of them. That's bizarre. That is bizarre that there's all these books. And I assume, no one is allowed to go into the restricted area. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit terrifying. Um, but yeah, the, the kind of spooky thing about a bank failure, based on what this guy described it as, is that, like, we can't deal with banks not being this risky right now. We are expecting too much growth, and unfortunately it is going to be the taxpayer kind of funding, you know, for these bank failures in, in the end. I, I don't know how much, I don't know how much of the company's assets are going to be, like, you know, uh, paid for by this is a very politics thing uh, but the, the the inevitable thing I just want to get to is just yeah be be careful if you are a person investing or spending and I feel like if you if you haven't heard the news uh, 
give it a look. I've got another Verdomilius level. I think it's just based on- I think some of the spell level ups are just based on how many times you use it. And not actually, like... Because, yeah, there's Ver Vermilius Tria. So I assume if I just use Verdomilius, I'll, I'll just get the other levels as I go along. Because, like, that didn't happen when I leveled up. That just went on. Uh, which is going to make some of these... Actually, I don't think you'd get, um... Level ups for the spells you don't use. Sorry. I don't think you get level ups for the spell. Well, that is true. I don't think you would get level ups for the spells that you, uh, don't have Uno for. Uh. I want to say that's all of this floor, and then I didn't check out the bottom left of the second floor of the other floor. Which one's the top floor, which one's the I guess this would be the, the top floor. I'm just going to use Verdomilius, because then I might get some level ups on that one. Uh, yeah, I don't have too much to say about Banks, because I don't know my stuff about Banks. But I feel like this is kind of a momentous uh, point in time. Uh, so, I don't know. Thought it was worth mentioning, I guess. Uh, more importantly, though, it's, uh, the 13th of March. It is... Uh, I guess we're on the second stream of the, the month. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm only gonna have four streams in, in March. So, we'll see how this game goes. Uh, but... I guess it's still gonna be Magic March. Do people do, a, a alliteration like that? And it's like, yeah, this month is all about... You know, Harry Potter, despite me playing Harry Potter last... <laughs> like, last month as well. A lot of people I know do that. They'll do, like, an alliteration thing for... Uh... Just for something. Oh, I just realized it's like a balcony. I was wondering, like, why is it all grayed out? That's a balcony that overlooks the below room. Game Boy Color Games, I'll tell you. You gotta, like... <laughs> You know, they got the color, but I still gotta, like, think in my head, like, ah, what, what are they going for here? Yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I will say, uh, if you are at home, I guess if you're watching the stream right now, then thank you for watching the stream. If you are a person who, are, who watches the VODs on YouTube, uh, I do not know how on earth, but there were a lot of click-ons to my stream last week. Uh, definitely broke the, into the ranks of, uh, like, I've got a tab with my YouTube analytics. I just, like, click into it, like, every day just to, you know, give a, give a check. And it's like, the, the last stream's VOD broke into, uh, my top ten viewed of the month. I get a lot of views on old Toy Story 3 videos on my channel. Uh, I appreciate all the people who watch the Toy Story 3 stuff. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay. Um, but I also super appreciate people watching the newer VODs on on my channel. Um, there's no real... Like, there's actually, like, no monetization really kicking in on those. It's pretty, you know... The video's got, like, 70 views. I, I barely have any uh, CPM. That's the amount of money you make per thousand ads. Or a thousand views roughly. And then I, I also don't have enough views to even get anywhere near that much. It's uh, it's a it's a quadratic growth. You need views in order to make more money per view. So. Okay, so I've got to figure out in my head where is Hogwarts history. So I guess I'm just going to try every room going upstairs. Uh, I investigated this room, the music room. There wasn't anything in here. This seems like an ominous corridor. Maybe this goes to the... Nope, it's locked. Cool. Uh, but yeah. YouTube viewer counts, you know, and, and who knows. It could just be manipulated. This looks like a wonderful place to fight a troll later in the game, doesn't it? Um, I always love that about, like, YouTube viewership and really all analytics. It's just like, 
Can you, can you truly, truly trust it? Maybe? I don't know. But it definitely makes me feel like I'm doing something a bit more right. Uh, if, uh, some of the videos get views. Or I'm doing something horrendously wrong, because the view time isn't particularly, you know, crazy higher. Who knows? How does one even read YouTube analytics? I don't think you really need to worry too much about it. I love the banana. Picture of banana. So is this the top floor? Excuse me, boy. None of the classes... Okay. I don't think I saw another staircase here. Oh wait, no. We got another one. Oh, another one. Oh yeah, because it's Sphinx. This is an ominous room, because it keeps going. Am I in the right place? There's a chest! There's a chest where I'm pressing the A button? I mean, these things look like chests. Oh, I guess the things on my right are chests. Hi there! Okay. Sure. Okay, I'm just wandering around the room. Is this the room with the white rats? Are you a white rat? Well, mm, nah, I don't think they're rats. I mean, that, that's a rat. That's not a, there's not a room with a rat. It's, so it seems that there's specific enemy encounters for different rooms. It's on the left of the sixth or seventh floor. I think I'm on the sixth floor, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be on this floor for too long, though. Look at this thing. Ooh. Well, that's a bit of damage, I guess. Die, rat. Uh, I would not be surprised with the amount. Yeah, it could be because of Hogwarts Legacy. And it also could be because I had the word drama in the description. Although... Based on search, uh, hold on, the best part is that YouTube is actually really good in the sense of you can click see video analytics and then you go to reach and then you get to see that one view was because someone typed Harry Potter GBC, shout out, and one person searched, uh, eat up fruits on bubblegum trees number zero one. Those are the only two terms that apparently YouTube has pulled out for us, like, for me to say, like, oh, you know, people were searching for these terms and they found your video. I get Harry Potter GBC. I, I don't get the, the chewing, the bubblegum one. That, mm, mm. <laughs> Also, just want to add, uh, most people, uh, 76% of the views so far are from Browse Features, which is the front page, subscription feeds, and other browsing features. The, the browsing page is algorithmically determined based on your viewing history and other kinds of things, maybe geolocation, other kinds of stuff. Uh, recommended videos is 16%. That is different. That, that is different despite also being an algorithm recommending a, uh, you know, a video to you. Also, people clicking on the subscription feed is considered under browse features. To me, I don't know whether people are clicking on my video because they're a subscriber, or people are clicking on the video because it's recommended, or alternatively, people click on the video because it's recommended to them, but they also just so happen to be a subscriber. I'm glad I went into this fight and immediately got killed. That's fun. Okay, so one of these went up like three floors. Is it this one? Yes. Well, they went up like two floors, but it's good enough. Actually, it was this floor I was on, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, I've wandered around the room and I can't find another classroom to do a class in, so I guess the next floor, which is the top, is it not? 
Well, there's no one in this room. Again. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, YouTube, I would greatly appreciate uh, if you could further divide uh, the... This is the seventh floor. It's got the, the bean. It's got the beans. You know you're on the right floor. Um, yeah, YouTube, I would greatly appreciate... Uh, splitting up the, you know, how the views are apparently uh, grouped together in this, because it's very hard to... You know, know whether... Well, that's the Gryffindor common room. Which I can go in, I guess. Is there really anything to do in here? It's wizard chess in it. Okay, that was a clip of chess where, like, both players were running out of time. Yeah, they've locked me out of astronomy. Uh, it was like two, two professional players playing chess and they both... Uh, oh, is this the floor with the... Yeah, it totally is. Okay. Okay, I need a, like, mental note in my head, like, where all the shortcuts are, but okay, so... Door to the right after dying... ...goes up to the fifth floor. Door at the bottom goes up to the seventh floor. And I've wandered around here and, uh, no classrooms to go in. So, gosh, where is the history room? I've checked up here. I've checked this Egypt room. No gold. It's, it's just, it's mostly a direction thing, but it is also kind of like, you know, there is no indication or natural progression of how much, you know, you need to actually play the RPG mechanic, if that makes sense. There's no, you don't know what level things really should be taken at. And you don't know if you're really doing anything wrong, anyways. Um, and then, yeah, wandering around this castle, like, I would love more signs telling me which floor I'm on. I'm just gonna say, like, hmm, you know... To be expected from the creators of the herbs. I, I feel like I would rip into the herbs, but also it's like, the herbs isn't, like, that poorly designed. It's... It's a game, it happens, but, and there's some things where it's just like, who's gonna ever figure this out? But yeah, it's like, there's a lot of rooms, and I'm just expected to know which one... No, this was a class I already did. Yeah, the O's was 2004. Um, this was 2001? Library. But I did see it does have a, a significant overlap in the amount of talent between the games, so... I get the opportunity to critique them for making the herbs. The herbs is an interesting one, because I think most people actually played the DS or the Game Boy Advance version more than the actual console version. Um, and that doesn't happen too often, but uh, yeah, people people take home that, that uh, Game Boy Advance version way more than they did the... Uh... Okay, where is this class really? But yeah, no. And I, I think rightly so, because, uh, legitimately, if you play the console version of the herbs, that's a bit of a... It's a bit bland? Someone's gonna rip into me for calling the herbs bland, but, like, legitimately, like, the console version of the herbs, every map is the same problem. It's the same set of scenarios. They've just changed, like, oh, now you talk to these people. You know, hit them up buy him one thing and move on to the next place. And you just do that, like, nine times. And that's the whole game. And none of it's ever harder than any earlier part. It just kind of happens, and then you're done. And you listen to a bunch of Black Eyed Peas music while you're doing it, where they say Flubba Lubba Jim Jam all the time. That's the herbs. It's not... it's not too horrendous of a game, but I do think it's just, yeah, it's not that exciting. Then you get to the Game Boy version, or, or the, um, or the DS version. Either one, I guess? The, you think maybe it's like, oh, they could, like, flex the DS a bit. Uh, it is a launch title, but it is also, like, noticeably a Game Boy Advance game that just 
but has a slightly larger screen on the DS. Um, and they kind of tacked on maybe like just a couple of DS quirks on it, like, oh, you get to use the touchscreen in this one minigame. Oh, you get to see the map at the same time. Like, they didn't exactly know how to do DS functionality. Um, but I will say there's a nice charm to how the game works. Um, and if anything, it combines the whole Sims aspects of the game uh, in this adventure that actually works fairly decently. Like, surprisingly so. Uh, and it's not their first rodeo at it as well. A lot of people probably didn't play The Sims 2 on the GBA, which is actually the same uh, concept in the sense of uh, it's a single player adventure um, where you get to, you know, you still got to manage your Sims kind of lifestyle needs, but yeah, okay, I've just wandered around in a circle. So either this classroom is on the ground floor and I've just missed it. But I'm pretty sure I've wandered into it. That's a broom closet. The top door goes to the dungeons. This door goes to... The, the boiler room? I'm 30 minutes into the stream. I've made, like... Killing enemies progress. But I don't know where this class is. And then this is the, the Great Hall. The Grand Hall? Great Hall? Stop it, we're doing flight school. Yeah, I didn't think you had to do the, the classes in order. The Greenhouse seems like you'd do Herbology in the Greenhouse. The Antidote, ah yes. It's like real school teachers having like, you know, like, rat poison. Not rat poison. The cure to rat poison. Yeah, so like, this would be a nice class. I think the teacher is looking at us. Okay. Sure, the professor might say something important and I don't want to miss it. I'm sorry, I'm strong and late to class. We better not talk during class or we might get a detention. If you need me to explain something to you, wait until after class. Okay. Hello, Ron. Just don't sit by Hermione, she's being a know-it-all. What? Again? Harry, I mean, sit by me, I know all about Herbology. Okay. Oh my goodness, is this what they thought the teacher would have looked like? They gave her two different colored eyes. And they made her a redhead. And I don't know how to feel about this. The first Herbology lesson is herb identification. Herbs are important ingredients in many potion formula, so it's important to know one from the other. I already know! Ugh. I am assigning each of you an ingredient encyclopedia. You will be able to use its illustrations to identify any herb. Oh, wow. You have the ingredient encyclopedia. Now you can collect potion ingredients, which I've... Oh, whoops, I've already been doing. Store potion recipes. Still, whoops. Press start, then select the ingredient encyclopedia from the main menu to see your ingredients and view your recipe book. When you find a herb or other ingredient you don't recognize, press it into the encyclopedia. It will be magically identified and sort of take your encyclopedia to search the school around for herbs. Do not enter the Forbidden Forest and don't return until you have the six herbs on the list. Well. You can follow me if you like. I recognize most herbs already. No, I should, pr should learn on my own. Alright, I'm going to take a big assumption and say most of the herbs are not indoors. So, herb list. How many of the herbs do I have? None of them. Cool. They all seem like they're in, uh, pretty set spots. Or alternatively, the game is mean and they don't give you any herbs until you start doing them. I'm glad that there's an enemy right here. Oh my goodness, what on earth are those things? Is that a snake? Actually, I'm curious if I just already have all these recipes. Anyways. Gosh, baby, baby demon trolls. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but yeah, uh... <laughs> I have commented on the herbs enough times that, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to play it on my channel at some point, isn't it? And the worst part is that, like, the general trend of games that I play on this channel are, um... 
games around 2000, it might be a little newer, but they're definitely games that were either in my childhood or tangentially, you know, around, around that point. I never played this one in particular, but... Uh, the reason I said you want to level like 40 or 50 is because I leveled it insanely the first time I played in the hospital wing, and it was still challenging. It does seem like the levels do come, and you're able to take out enemies. Like, hold on, I, I will, I will commit to a save here. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I mean, it's another 100 and 210 to get to the next level. That's a bit, but it shouldn't be like impossible, given that you can still. Well, I guess. Is my general rule of thumb. Like, how long does it take to kill an enemy and how much experience does it give? It doesn't seem like the harder enemies take more hits or... or take much more hits or kill you quicker. Maybe Hagrid's got some goods. Hagrid, what's a good place on the grass to find herbs? Fill in your encyclopedia, Arr! Look in the odd tufts of grass, yes, here and there. I saw some didn't me around, but it makes dragons sneeze, so I dug it up. Dragons? Ah, uh, did I say dragons? I meant my dog Fang. It makes Fang sneeze. Talk to you later, Harry. <laughs> the second time I played through the game, it was in my early teens, I did not do the grind. It was still really hard. Yeah, there's definitely some games where it's like, you can do the grind. Well, that's time to wander into the Forbidden Forest, I guess. Wormwood, that's a weird name. I definitely feel like there's a lot of, like, older RPGs where I definitely did the grind. I know when I played, like, that- <laughs> It's forbidden! I'm not allowed in there! Porcupine quills? This is just mash A. I'm just gonna make my button taps a little more audible for you. This is tap A city. Are there any indicators that there's anything to pick up, or am I just wandering around? Hoping that I'm somewhere in a part where I can interact with it. For the ingredients, at least. So just for reference as well, these are all the herbs I'm getting. Not the, not the porcupine tree. Not that. Not, not that one I picked up. But at least the Wormwood, so Harry made a comment about one. So I must be doing the right thing. Boomslang skin. Well, Harry's not gonna say that's weird, because I've already gotten Boomslang skin before. The reason you probably struggle uh, more than me on my second playthrough is that I knew all the enemy weaknesses. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a catch. Oh my gosh. It's the fungus. So the boomslang skin thing looks different. Go back and see if you can't get more. Oh, okay. And I'm poisoned today. I assume setting a plant on fire does stuff. And the big spiky grass. Die, plant thing. Oh, he's not afraid of that. He's just gonna spit more poison at me. Yeah, cool. It does take eight magic, so I'd imagine it would be one of the one of the more powerful ones. A famous witch and wizard. I was right next to one of these. Aconite. What a wonderful name. So it's just all these spiky bushes. Just have a chance. Have a gander. Go up to them. See if they're chilling. I don't think any of these other ones are really giving me the goods. Nah, not really. Can I just like leave? Nope. I assume that's the front gates, the Hogwarts. Stop! The big spiky one. They're all big and spiky. Oh, unless you mean that thing. Oh, okay. So that's one. Again, I guess. Get him with the fire. 
I just want to take them out in one hit. Instead, they're gonna just, like, fling their poison at me and call it a day. I see a different looking bush. It's bigger. Okay. If I don't die to the flowers. That was red. That was a crit. Oh, because I'm using Vertimilius. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, maybe you had to go... Yeah, maybe it was that. Maybe you get into a fight to reset it. Well, I'm picking up healing anyway, so... Item... Uh... Looking well. Okay, so something... Okay, let's go back to the spiky boy. Yeah, it gave it to me again. I'm now gonna just go into the pause menu. Okay, now I can't get any more. Pause menu. Yeah, it's the pause menu. It's the pause menu. I'm gonna make sure that my game doesn't explode. That seems bizarre that you could just pause the game and get it. Okay. But that's only giving me one of the same thing over and over again. So... I want to get the other things. Oh, he's yellow. He's yellow. Maybe he hates when Guardian Leviosa. I didn't like it. Yeah, I, I saw the different looking grass for a hot moment. I don't think I'm going to be able to live. They don't give you much magic, either. Like, in the grand scheme of things, like... 68... Eh, it starts to disappear after quite a few fights. Okay, well, I guess I'm going back upstairs. Oh yeah, I can make the potions, yeah. Sorry, so if I'm in the menu, I can now do Ingredient Encyclopedia. And these are all the things that I've been picking up. And then I go into here, and I haven't learned some recipes, but I've got... Grand Wigan World Powder. Uh, pepper up, grand pepper up, Vitamix. It's probably something I'm getting all seven recipes, and uh, I probably want some some weaker recipes at some point. But sure, okay. Interesting. Pepper up and grand pepper, are your friend? I would imagine so. I just need to figure out, like, what's the best way to get out of the castle this quick. Harry Potter and the Lost at Sea. Game 2 is much better. I did enjoy Game 3. But I... I... I dread... Encountering that Whomping Willow boss again. I just had bad memories as a kid playing that with the Whomping Willow boss. I did prefer being able to see the enemies in a compendium and kind of learn their strengths and weaknesses from that rather than uh, what's happening in this game. Oh, hey Dumbledore, how you doing? Hello, have you? Do you have some time there? My green, it's like a pair for a body class. Are you hunting for herbs? Better stay outside. Thanks. Is that where the plants grow? Okay, so is this spiky boy? Is this one of them? Okay, so they're just... Okay, so there's just these actually different sprites. I swear I was picking up stuff off the... Like that! What was the tell there? What was the tell for the mandrake root? I'm just mashing A. And I, I just had a mandrake root show up. Some of these just seem like they're also just giving me regular materials. But I don't know, maybe all the herbs are just regular materials if you try hard enough. This thing looks fancy. Beetle eyes. Yeah. Well, at least I know to roughly look for these bigger trees, but even then... Oh, what building? Oh, this is Hogwarts. This is, this is the Quidditch. They're all Hogwarts. Did I pick up everything? 
Oh, I haven't got Didney or Asphodel root. Okay. I guess that I just gotta look harder. I just gotta look for more herb. This almost feels like I'm walking through the same areas. Is this one? Snake fangs. Why are there snake fangs as a regular thing? As a kid I knew uh, by heart where all the ingredients were. I mean, there's some games where it's like, I'll just remember like all these like little wonderful things by heart. Silver unicorn horn. Oh yeah, then just grow on trees. Where's my US dollars? Die, troll thing. What are these things? Oh, like, I guess they're gnomes, aren't they? Maybe they hate Vertimilius. No. Do they hate Incendio? He didn't like it. And then he didn't like me, so... Mm. Incendio gang, I guess. Oh, zero means miss. It doesn't mean your weapon did no damage, it just means... Miss. It's more Aconite. Again, I probably should have read the manual. I just feel like, yeah, if a game's probably got stuff... Manual. Probably manual. Oh, okay, there's now a wasp. 70? 66? Okay, you weren't kidding about the, the game just uh, deciding to, you know, deciding to be mean. But the wasp is just struggling to hit me. Well, go to sleep. Go, going to sleep. Alright, what's the shortcut out of this floor? It was one of these, uh, walls, wasn't it? Yeah. The white rats in the astronomy tower probably would hit something between 100 and 200. Yeah, that just feels like... ...bizarrely out of place. And come in groups of up to three. Yeah, it feels just... Strange that like I'll wander into an area and it feels like I'm expected to go around and pick herbs Yeah, like what level are, are you supposed to be for anything really? See I want, I want to be cautious. I want to dodge the enemies now because it's like, oh no, they can kick my butt So I guess the question is who is the best place to grind while I can't fight those rats that would deal 100 damage to me? Okay, I did not even see an enemy on screen. Hospital wing? Is that just because it's that close? Is it? It's like, um, oh, if you ever play Final Fantasy 2, that's a perfect example of, like, when RPG leveling goes wrong. Because... Uh, and I'll, I'll eternally rip on Final Fantasy 2 for this. Final Fantasy 2, you gain levels by... Uh, ...acting on your skills. As in, uh, you will get uh, attack points every time you hit an enemy. You will get defense points every time you take damage. You will get, like, evasion points for... I got two, which is a wizard card as well. Um, and if that... if it, Just for note, you get... Uh, the same... you get points for... for the amount of times you deal damage. The actual damage you deal is not the thing that counts towards your experience, it is the damage. Sorry, it's the number of times. And that means that, yeah, the beginning area of the game... Yeah, the number of hits. That means that the, the beginning of the game is the best place to grind the entire game, because you want to be able to just, you know, if you want to take the most hits in one fight, which there is a limit apparently, so you still have to be counting. 
Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can take this guy out. Use this, like, freeze spell on them. Okay. These guys are still gonna hit me a bit mean, but that's okay. I'll just, I'll just spam Wingardium. It's, it's, it's working. That's all that matters. Petrify and poison because poison does. Oh, they wake up after you hit them. And Wingardium's doing okay. At least. 65 damage is pretty good. I think I remember spamming that in the third game a bunch. And two pepper up potions. Nice. At least on the last bosses. Well, that's the most important place for using stuff in general. Okay, so all these trees and stuff have fixed items on them. So that just means I need to wander around and find the right tree for the, st the, the still two missing items. I still haven't picked up any of those two yet. I also haven't yet figured out where's the, uh... Where's the flying class? I would have thought it might have been at the Quidditch pitch, but, uh, no, it doesn't seem to be there. Can I just wander off screen? Harry wanders into the... That's, again, again, I'm just pressing A. I am literally just pressing A. And that was one of the items I was missing, right there. It was no tell, I swear. Okay, so I'm only missing one thing. But where is it? Where could it be now? Harry Potter and the I Only Know Flipendo. Or I guess I can use Vermilius for a moment. There you go. Well, that worked. There you go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. We're done. Get out of get out of dodge. Save the game. I don't want to don't want to look for herbs anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna get a bit flippendoed out by snails. Get in, snails. It was not its final form. I feel like just running away from this fight. This, uh, is gonna be absolutely slow as. But this is what I mean. These enemies are not doing much. Or even better. Pretty sure just figure out which, uh, pepper up. Yeah. 68? Just for a regular old pepper up? Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Which spell would be okay? I'm going with Incendio. Thirty-nine. That doesn't seem like it's a ton of damage. Well, let's get him with the last hit, I guess. Ooh, he runs away in the shell. Uh, I guess we'll Verdemilius him. We'll see how he he likes this. There's... I, I do wish that there was an indicator telling you, like, how good a spell is. Because now if I use Vermilius, it's 20. Like, okay. And I'm poisoned today. So I guess we can chuck the antidote. And what's the point in using an antidote if you're going to get poisoned and immediately take 20 damage afterwards? I guess I'll die now. I thought I was going to be fancy. I, I, I even mentioned, I said, oh, these guys aren't too bad. And then I get caught out by that kind of stuff because I can't figure out what a snail is weak to. Oh well. And then it takes me ten years to figure out how to get out of that, <laughs> that floor. 
Does, wait, don't we have the... Yeah, the, the Sphinx part. No, the Sphinx part goes upstairs! Okay, I'm just back on the same floor as well. Isn't that two doorways that go from the same floor to the same floor? Why? They're probably just like, oh, it's faithfully accurate to the book. There's like one part in the fourth book where Harry just like, you know, goes through this like, you know, port key and suddenly, oh, look at that, he's, he's on the fourth floor. It's probably... There's probably an explanation for that. I'm the fool. I'm the one who was just going, ah, yes. All this stuff is weird and wacky. <laughs> Professor... Redhead, I'm back. I got your stuff. Excellent work, Harry! You are the first to return with the assignment complete. Your reward is two potion form. I go to Professor Snape and tell him I send you. Professor Snape? Who else would you learn potion recipes from? He's he's, yeah, he literally teaches potions. Okay. Do I just have to kill Snape? Is that my objective? Listen, the movies would have been over, over and done with way sooner if, uh, if uh, you know, Snape was out of the picture really early. Think about it. Without Snape... Voldemort wouldn't be close to coming back. You might be thinking, well, I mean, he's not the bad. He's not the bad guy, he was just in on it. Yeah, but it's like Snape enabled so much stuff to happen. What do you want, Potter? I finished all the assignment and apology first, and Professor's brought some here to get two portion of my She has always been too generous. Hold out your encyclopedia, Potter. Here are your formulas, Potter. Now leave my office. You wear the Laurel of Victory from completing Herbology class and getting the potion recipes, and there's a new card combo available at the Wizard Card Collectors Club. Okay, sure. So now I guess I've got the ability to do. Uh. What's this? My brain read this as Monkashood, which is not. That's not it. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking, like, oh, this will probably get me the. These spells. So really, I'm just missing one. If I'm missing four because I just didn't press A in the library enough, please tell me. And then tell me exactly where that is, but... Okay, so where is... Broom class? Is Broom class just in the Quidditch pitch? That seems like the most likely place. But okay, so it's just like... You're just gonna go up to all these materials and keep, like, pressing A and then pausing on them? Is that the intended mechanic? It feels kind of weird if they want you to just leave, and it also feels kind of weird that they don't give you any other place to get these materials. They're just all outside. They're all chilling here. So where's the... yeah, so can I just, like, wander in? No? Is there a south ex entrance? Here we go. Nope. Still no go. Where do they do fight class? If it's not... Oh, I went into the menu. I went into the menu a bit too at a time. Whoops. Sorry, game. Your time is up. Why is this bee doing so much- I did finish her bulger, yes. <laughs> Turns out the real villain was Snape. That was it. But yeah, so I still don't know where flight class is or history class. I'm just gonna get walloped by this guy, aren't I? Was I mistaken you do not have to gather- Nope, I didn't have to gather mandrakes. You just said you were the first to finish. Go and uh, claim your spoils. By, from from Snape. Probably game two, because they do mandrakes in the film. Okay, I'm, I'm out again. I seem to be not leveling up. I'm getting experience. It's not like the level is moving further away. I'm just dying more often than I feel like I probably should be. 
And who knows, it should be getting easier as the game goes on. Oh! Oh! Now there's class! Hi! Do I learn history class from a ghost? Professor Beans! I, I was not facing you, Ron, but sure. If you need me to explain something to you, wait until after class. Hi there. Hello, Neville. Shh, he's sleeping. No, he isn't. He's standing there looking at me. Not Neville, Professor Bins. Shouldn't we wake him up? I don't know if you can wake up a ghost. If you tried to shake him, your hand might go right through. And as the 17th century was coming to a close, we didn't mind a bit. Harry Potter, it's too nice to finally have you in a class. I remember your father very well. Thank you, Professor Bins. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? I remember your father did. I once gave him a Cirque? 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 He prized it quite highly. Wonder whatever happened to it. I remember talking to someone in Diagon Alley who was trying to sell that card. You don't say, perhaps it was even the same one if I could see it, I could be sure. Would you like me to get it for you? It's an idea, half term begins today. Half, half term begins today. Oh, okay. Harry Potter Life Alive was a big deal. Okay. Uh, did, did he just say I have a free pass to leave school? I also love how it's, you know, if the teacher is asleep for 15 minutes, we can leave class. Do people actually, like, do that rule? Oh, <laughs> Hagrid, I was just coming to find you. Arr, Harry, I'm looking for hork lumps. I hear there's a nest of them in ye building somewhere. Professor Pins gave me a positive go back to Diagon Alley and said to give it to you. I'm going to get famous witches and witches card that Pins might have been given to my father. I'll find the hork lumps later. Off we go, Harry. Okay, I'm just go I'm going back to Diagon Alley, I guess. Okay, sure. I, I wasn't expecting to go back to 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 this to to Diagon Alley, and especially after. Hello, Harry. Okay. Especially after the first game, sorry, after the PS1 game also did this. Harry just starts the game in Hogwarts. Oh snap, I can buy this. He still won't sell this to me. I am now a student. Can I buy an owl? I've already been given an owl, haven't I? They've repeated, they're repeating their dialogue. Are you the guy who sells the card? But maybe I wasn't paying attention. Thanks, game. You're ripping on me. Hi there. Uh, sure, okay. I already got the potion kit bag, so I don't really need to comment there. This is for the cauldron pot, which I don't assume you've got any... No, you don't have any more cauldron pots. I love how how much money did I have in in the the vault like eight hundred dollars and now I've got four grand. Harry gets more money by just like robbing people. They don't call him Kingpin Harry for nothing. Are these still rats? Are these still weak as rats? Probably. Let's see. This is how. This is the strength of my level ups. That's right. I missed the first hit. The level ups, they do nothing. Uh, I went to history class and he was like, Oh, your dad used to have witches and wizards cards. Go get me one. Here's a pass to Diagon Alley. And obviously, as what happened- Oh, and he also says, Oh, it's the midterms now, you can do it. Even though I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, the Hogwarts Express is like a couple hours train ride. It's definitely something that you wouldn't take every day, but you can definitely take out to go to London and back. Or you could just teleport. They never really clarified that, did they? That, like, uh, you can teleport in and out of Hogwarts. There's a lot of spells that let you teleport. So why is, uh... I don't think I'll ever get that question answered. Do you sell the card? Oh, he spends the day near Gringotts? You can't teleport- oh. Because I remember in the last film, Harry just takes like a painting. Oh, okay. 
but you can go, you, you, okay, if you can't get into Hogwarts, you can at least get to the grounds outside Hogwarts and then like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna like walk around a hill. 15 minute walk as opposed to a several hour train ride. Okay, this guy sells sweets, he still sells like chocolate frogs, 10, $10, and buy 400 of these. Some guy like that at the bank, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, do they sell anything different? 15,000?! I like how it made the sound, I jumped for a moment, I was like, did I actually buy that? For 15,000? But no, I see it at the top, I think that's more than any- than you have. Am I just like, caught out because all of this stuff is just like, crazy expensive? Who's gonna get $15,000 by now? I haven't been buying anything. Well, that's the end of that. If you can go to Diagon Alley again, then sure, but I feel like you're probably never gonna be able to get back here. Which means, uh, yeah, like, who are they selling that to? Is that just like, that can't just be a New Game Plus kind of thing as well. Yeah. Okay, I just hope Harry is just like, oh, I've got, hi there. Hi there. Hi. hi. I am a man with a famous Witches of Wizards card for sale, but it's in my vault in Gringotts. If you go and go get it yourself, I'll reduce the price. From a bezoar stone to ten sickles. Did you just give it anyways? Because I had a bezoar stone in my inventory. I have a bezoar stone. I could just give you the bezoar stone. Yeah, I don't think anyone sells the equipment in Hogwarts, so like all the stuff is just here. How may I serve you? Mr. Potter has authorization to go into my vault 998 and remove a famous witches and wizards card. May I see your key, sir? Here it is. Mr. Potter will be going by himself. Smell you later, Harry. Very good. We'll be going to the new vault area. Please follow me. Yeah, it's it's bizarre that like Harry, you didn't lose him again, did you? Oh no, 998 is right at the front. How convenient. Vault 998 is through here. Please enter the authorized vault. Only Gringotts cannot accept responsibility for lost items or limbs. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I must return to the lobby. I just gotta fight a boss. Big rat. It's not as menacing when the big rat misses and the little rat hits. So I guess we'll uh, get the Verdemilius on the big one. See, it's, it's using the tune in the back. And it does hit a bit mean. Oh, wow, he's got a bunch of health, doesn't he? Okay, let's get the small ones first then, I guess. What is going on with that sprite there? I'm a little worried. I'm actually a little worried. I feel like I've got some items that will, like, top off my healing. And I guess you can buy the items that top up your healing. So, you're not 100% caught out. But it does mean you've got to be able to heal. I've got pumpkins. 25 SP, that is n nothing actually. Yeah, the problem is I saved here. I got this, bro. I got this. Alright, we're using the grand one. Like, as, uh, once I get these tiny rats out, I think the big one should be a bit easier to to go through with. But the blue ones are not playing too kindly. And neither is the big one. Verdemilius on the small one. That's just Verdemilius on all of them.
I thought it was like Verdamilius on big things and Vermillion on small ones, but like, yeah, I... I don't know which ones are used for which. Uh... There is some kind of system. Because I remember they said Vermillion... Oh, the color of the enemy matters as well. Oh my gosh. Because, yeah, I remember they said Vermillius is for... Uh, insects and, like, rats. And it worked when you're at the beginning of the game. I don't have anything else to really throw in. The beans didn't really do much. It's incendio. Alright, so here's a question. Yeah, I assume... Hold on, this person... I'm out of items. And this person sells a bunch of crap. <laughs> it's, it's like, this stuff is not gonna save me. And there's no potion store. There's no potion store. So you're actually caught out. I mean, I saved before. I think I've got this. I think. Because I wasn't using the right spells for most of that fight, to be honest. But I also feel... Hmm! Oh, oh, thank goodness. There is a potion store. They also sell a bunch of crap. Okay, let's do the old-fashioned restart. Okay, so I'm saving often and suddenly the game uh, <laughs> bait and switches me. It's like, you go to ho- you go here- actually, hold on, this happens exactly in the Prisoner of Azkaban game. This happens exactly. Oh, it tells you what- oh yeah, it does, yeah. You're in Diagon Alley. Okay, the worst part. This guy says he will give me it- reduce the price from a bees or a stone. I have a Bezor zone! I could just give you the stone! Hold on, go to items, go to... or, or ingredient encyclopedia. What is this? Uh, wherever it is. What is this? One... I have one! You won't... you won't take it. He doesn't take it. He forces you to fight a rat. What a cruel fella. What an absolutely cruel fella. Oh my goodness. Try and send you on the big rat? Yeah, let's get let's get the big rat out of the way, maybe. He's nice enough to deal zero. Vermilius Tria? Yeah, sure. The worst part though, Vermilius Tria, I can only use it four times. Okay, that's a bit of damage on the big rat. He looks like he's got a lot of health though, this fella. a good amount. Oh, I could I could get the big one. Could get the big one. I think it there's there's gonna be a way where it's possible. But I also feel like am I gonna be like slamming my head and like doing a bit of luck based you know gameplay? If I get this big rat out now it should be smooth sailing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, this this game sucks. I hate missing in RPGs, because it's like, I can't do anything about it. It's just, you're just caught out. Oh my goodness, jeez. So I think I am kind of stuffed. Maybe I should be buying some of the cheaper potions before it. 79! 
79 off the big one. I'm curious, the fight started out decent. Because because the enemies missed a little bit. Oh, really? Really? Are we doing this? Are we actually, like... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I actually do not know what to say. <laughs> when... <sighs> the worst part as well is that I feel like you could accidentally do this class first. I think. Maybe. And that would just catch you out even worse, because now you're a lower level. And there's nothing you can do. The only thing... They're in order? Okay, okay. But the, like... Yeah, the only thing I could possibly do right now... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Well, to be honest, I can fight the rats outside. That's what I was thinking. If I need to level up a spell... If I need to level up a spell... I can level it up off the weak enemies outside. I introduced the uh, same problem I had with Final Fantasy 2. But like, that's kind of silly if it's like, oh, I gotta just train my spells on the weak rats. Try Wing Guardian, if I can even get to that point, I guess. Although, this is me fighting the big rat first, so... Probably just bad strategy on my end. I got a good crit last time. I want to get that crit again. But yeah, it looks like the big rat's probably going to take maybe like 200 health. 200 damage. I guess, yeah, it just depends on how quick each one dies. Probably... The big rat is not, yeah. I'm being very inefficient, yeah. Okay, come on, big rat. Just, just military theory about this. someone's law. Whose law actually would it be? I, I feel like it's a thing to take out the weaker guys first, but... Look at that perfect heal step, by the way. There you go. Big rat out of the way. It's done. There you go. Big rat. Now, because the fight is very kind, they are just still going. So, Vermidilius. One day I'll pronounce these spells right. We got this. I got this. I got this. I, w I will definitely go, okay, look how quick these rats are dying. It's kind of my bad for using the wrong... <laughs> going for the big rat first. But, okay, alright, we got there in the end. We got there. But, oh boy, like, that just catches you super off guard. Not only do you not have any of, like... Oh, just gonna spawn another one behind me? Excuse me, hold on. You wanna open the chest? Did we just not open the chest, or I already got it? Did I already get it? Okay. See what the small one is? Okay, we might as well save one. I assume it's just, yeah, it's just the enemies that are always in this thing, unless they're different in the room, but... That's, that is irritating, but... Someone's gonna, okay, okay, I, I'm not phrasing things, my brain is going to mush right now. I save because I'm like, oh, I don't want to fight that boss again. And now it's like I'm locked out of that room. Ah. <sighs> just ev- there is stimulus happening right now that I'm just not able to process. Okay, bro, I beat the rat. Did you get the card? Yeah, there it is, your vault key. Shove off, there was a monster in your vault. Why no, I expected better. Pest control, Gringotts. Our deal is complete. Have a good trip back to Hogwarts. 
Hagrid, take me home. Arr, we all finish Harry. Harry. I think we are. Seems strange though. Well, I'm not buying any of these uh, super expensive things. My trap failed. You are stronger than I thought, Harry Potter. Well, that was a bit intentional. At least I'm all the way back here. Hi there. And they never realized that bubblegum is in fact magical. Oh, hello, Harry. I have the famous Witches of Wizards card with Sir Keon. Wait, oh, Sir so C, sorry. Yes, I think this is the same card, but I think your father would want you to have it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Professor Bins. Go ask Dismiss. You're awakened to a new possibilities after completing the quest Professor Bins gave you. In the wake of your success, a new card combination is available in the Wizard Card Collectors Club. There's a different Sprite of Harry at the top. Interesting. Okay, so, uh... I'm alive? I guess. So, uh... I might as well do the flight class? Is it outside? Is that... This has to be outside, right? I guess. Yeah. So, uh, while I'm walking to class, uh, let's bring up an interesting topic. Uh, I saw someone, uh, bring up a, a, uh, I think it was a tweet, I forgot the guy who said it, but, uh, you'll probably find this tweet. Um, he was commenting on, in the new Resident Evil 4 remake, uh, they are painting a lot of boxes and, or at least three boxes and one windowsill in particular, but maybe there's probably more. Uh, they've painted them with a big yellow X, uh, paint texture on the, on the boxes and window cells. Basically saying, hey, yeah, you can, you can break these. You can, you can break these, bro. You know what this reminds me of, by the way? This reminds me of, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, if anyone's played that one, on the PS1. Where you don't know at all what, like, what the card combinations do. You have multiple cards in your hand. And all you know is that by fusing two of them together, that gives you something. What does it give you exactly? You'll never really know until you just learn every possible combination of cards in that game. Um, and I feel like uh, me learning what uh, what uh, enemies are weak to what spells is kind of just like up to you know, up to trial and error, and then right remembering it all. Uh, but yeah, no, so the yellow, the yellow X's, uh, he basically, uh, the tweet, like, classic Twitter, was kind of like, this is bad. I don't like change. And to be honest, it's a remake of a game. I feel like there kind of needs to be a good justifiable reason why there is a change like this. It wasn't really an issue for people back in the day, was it? I don't remember people complaining that they didn't know you could break window cells, certain window cells in, uh... Resident Evil 4, so why should this be any different? And, uh, yeah, I, I totally get that point. I also kind of get the point where people say, oh, there's games like uh, Doom 2016, I think Shadow of the Tomb Raider has this as well, where uh, you can, um, you finish the game, you get the card combo that uses three red cards, don't get used up on use, and it bugs so it only works the first time. It's a combo for New Game Plus. That unlocks all spells instantly because you only keep your level and maybe equipment or money. Hopefully you keep your money, but also... Oh my gosh, New Game Plus. Okay, I am completely lost where... Flight School has to be right here, right? Outside the Quidditch pitch? No way would it be anywhere else. But there's no one here, and I can't press A on the door. But yeah, if you have the recipe for the Grand Wig Wigan Weld and Pepper Potion, you can farm them, go into the menu and collect them. Yeah, I can farm them a bit. So, I guess in the Ingredient Encyclopedia... Uh... Still haven't learned that one. Fourth one. But, you know, that, that ain't a pepper up, that's just Wigan World. So if I was to actually make these, I need to pull out the cauldron? Yeah, the cauldron. 
Oh, and then I gotta remember them from the other menu. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Hold on, legit. Potion kit bag. You can't use it now. Okay. Old game. Oh, that's... That's worse than old game, though. That's just them being mean. That's just them trying to sell strategy guides. Oh, come on. You could just... You could just have a screen that lets me see the recipes. Or better yet, just be able to pick the recipes from the menu. Instead of... Instead of having to look at it, pull up the... Come on, come on, game. And I still don't know where... Where broomstick class is. Where is it? And now I'm getting stung by bees. Top right of Hogwarts. Also, kind of near where I am. I feel like I am in the top right. It's like I'm in this room. It doesn't go any more up. It's just a random feeling. Your random feelings have been pretty on point, so I'm going to take that. It's a better... Better feeling than what I've got. And now I'm in... I'm at the front door. I'm at the front door. There's this path that goes... What? Oh! Oh! Where was this? Where was this? <laughs> what do you have there, Neville? Remember all my grandma sent me, she knows I forget things. Class man, boy, your poops! Put your right hands over your poops and set up! Ugh. Oop. Oop. Get hit in the face. Oh. Oh. Come back here, boy! <laughs> Time for a minigame, ooh. Looks like a broken wrist! None of you move! Why would you not have a medic on the scene, by the way? Oh, 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 you should have seen his face, the great lump. Oh, oh, I gave him like a snarky British accent. He's like, you should have seen his face. Shut up, Belfoy. What's this? It's that stupid thing Longbottom's grand sent him. That's Neville's remember. Come get it, Potter. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there I go. I feel like that's what people love, though, the minigames. Oh, okay, don't hit bushes. Oh, okay, there's just no way you're dodging that one. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling that the moment I hit something, I can't control where I'm going. And I feel like I'm gonna get chained, I'm gonna get comboed. Like I'm gonna run into something and then I just run into something else. Uh, a and B don't do anything, okay. I will say, visually, they've got it going on, though. Am I actually catching up? We both look like we're moving at the same rate down the bottom. But it actually just looks like we're both going at the same rate. I can't lean any more right than this as well, so... Am I moving faster? Oh, yeah, I am moving faster when I am all right, though. Oh. Okay. Interesting, because you're not actually, like, moving faster. There he is! Oh. Okay, yeah, that's totally it. Oh, we're gonna catch up. Oh, he's just cheating. He's flying above everything. We got too many sprites on screen. <laughs> oh gosh. Get him. There you go. Touch his butt. Good for you, Harry. Harry, you could have got us all in trouble. Neville, how are you? Ugh. Oh, he's okay. Is your remember all. You keep it, ha What? Oh, sure, I guess. I you observe your little adventure, Harry Potter. Uh, Never do that again. Just 
slow recession. You got told off by a teacher. You have retrieved Neville's Remembral. News of a card combination in the Wizard Card Collectors Club is flying from student to student. Your classes are over for the day, please go to the great hall. Dinner is about to be served. There you are, Harry. Let's go to our table. You are not going to get away with what happened in flying class, Potter. Lord Braver, back on the ground with your little friends around you. This might be the troll now. The troll right here. I will gladly fight you on my own. How's about a wizard's duel at midnight? Ones only. I was going to bring my gun, bro. You're all up here a second. Crab is my second. See you in the trophy room tonight. Oh, does this mean I have to decipher where our room is again? What in the world is a wizard's duel? It's, it's a duel with, with wizards. It's... Harry, Harry Potter, exactly. Did they do the whole film, Harry Potter with guns? Like, that's impressive. It's none of your business. And time passes. I remember this one. The Truman Show with German was pretty good. Half past 11. Ooh, that's me in an hour and a half. On YouTube, only two minutes is left because of copyright strikes. Rip. But I'm pretty sure they, like, put a, like... A Vimeo link or something. Can't believe you're going to do this, Harry! You! Go back to bed! <laughs> go back to bed! <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Uh, apparently the painting does not appear in uh, this. You lose all the points we have when you're caught. Go away! The fat lady, she isn't there. I've heard she goes wandering at night. Sometimes I can't get back in. It's your problem. I've been out here for hours, I couldn't remember the new password. It's Pix now, we have to be somewhere, Neville. See ya. Don't just leave me here. Or me. Alright. We got a big gang. Does that mean I actually have a party of characters who will help me out in the next fight that I totally will do? Your guess is good mine where the trophy room was, though. I would have guessed it's on this floor, but. Orb gazing. Gaze into the orb. <laughs> Hi there! Ali, back to bed with ya! This isn't safe out here, this teacher's about. Ah. See ya, Hagrid. Am I actually gonna get told off if I, uh. if I get spotted by any other teacher? What is Hagrid doing on the sixth floor? I thought Hagrid just sleeps in his hut because he's the groundskeeper. He keeps the grounds. He keeps out of the school. I feel like Hagrid's got a really hard job. He's got a lot of places he's got to be. Uh, may I add as well that every room here is locked. This is a mechanic that totally could have been used in the rest of the game to prevent me from walking into rooms where I would have encountered super strong enemies. But no, they let me go into these rooms and get walloped. Apparently it is the full... They, yeah, I thought they did the full movie. Oh, I just don't want to talk to that teacher. It's just chillin'. Compilation of scenes from different movies. I think I thought it was the full first movie at least. Oh my gosh! Like what? Which room? Which room is it? The Rumpelstiltskin character there. Maybe able to go to nah. If it was on the seventh floor, every room on that floor was locked. I'm very certain I walked past that one, and it was just everything is locked. I have not been able to walk into any other room right now. Let me get the PS1, Harry. Oh, okay. It was this room. Could you tell? This is it. Keep an eye out for Malfoy and Crab. Uh, sure. They're just gonna, like, pop out of nowhere? It wasn't really nowhere, they were just late, I think. Oh! 
Sniff around, my sweet. This is where young Malfoy said they'd be. Ah! There's a terrifying cat. Decently close to the hospital wing. Does that mean I gotta hide in this room, or...? Are we doing a puzzle? Are we do oh, I, I don't know why I was expecting a puzzle. I think this is where I went after I outleveled the hospital wing. This seems maybe like a right place, but... Okay, I'm pressing A. It's not really anything happening here. This really looks like it's going to be a puzzle room. Oh, okay, I'm just back out here, I guess. Armors with Hermilius or Incendia. Have you found your way to get to the Sorcerer's Stone? It's the Sorcerer's Stone now again. <laughs> At least tell me how to get past your little hocus pocus. But it would be betrayal. We'll speak again when you've decided where your loyalties lie. What? Okay. Cool. Thank goodness they didn't see us. What's the Sorcerer's Stone? I don't know, but Snape wants to steal it. Filch, we forgot about him. Quick, hide. Oh my gosh, he's running way faster than what I would do. And he found the fluffy room. With Neville this time. You really shouldn't make fun of the way Quirrell talks. No, look. Out. I'd rather face Filch than that thing. Okay. <laughs> Just out. Why are they keeping that thing locked up in the school? Didn't you see it was the trapdoor was standing while I was guarding something? I bet it's guarding the sorcerer's stone. This is dangerous and it's getting late. Let's just go and see the fat lady. Oh, and now I gotta walk all the way back. Oh, there's enemies now. There's enemies. So what happens if I die? There's a turtle. Oh, he just pooped a fireball at me. And his health bar's red? Maybe this is actually a Wingardium Leviosa enemy. You gotta flip him. Really get flipped, and he's just gonna continue pooping fireballs at me. Uh, let's get him with the old flipendo, I guess. Nope. It would be weird for Incendio, given that he's pooping fireballs. So we'll go with the Verdamilius, because Verdamilius seems to it's red. What am I doing wrong here? Vermilius. Oh, okay, it was the it's the last one you try. Well, good news. I don't want to fight more of these things. Oh, especially when they can like nearly kill me, I guess. Oh my goodness. He is vibing as a turtle though, I'll tell you that. I gained a level. Nice. And, uh, he's in the way. Oh, my goodness! I, I think the health bars are red because of a, uh... Color palette more than anything else. Yeah, I'll just see ya. I'm not dealing with that. I am not dealing with that. Think about it. That is a troll. Not in the dungeon. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I gotta walk behind you. I think. Oh. Oh wait. Do any of the secret passageways work, or do I actually have to just walk upstairs? I think I just gotta. Oh my gosh. Okay, well it's just the troll. I can figure out what the troll's weak to. Maybe Incendio. Nope. One damage makes me think I am woefully underleveled, and that is saying something. Vernamilius. One. Ten. Actually, Fulpendo. Is it really Fulpendo? It's actually Fulpendo. I guess he's blue. Maybe I should have guessed that one. So I wonder if it actually is just based on the color of the enemies. If they're blue, they're weak to Flipendo. I'm just gonna keep using regular old Flipendo because I guess the more uses of a spell, the closer you get to leveling it up, I think. 
Is that what we're going for? Because, yeah, I... Uh, I wouldn't have expected the color. They mentioned the type of enemy and they said, yeah, like, rats hate Vermilius. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like they just pick something for everyone. Oh, hopefully this troll does all right. Harry has gotten punched enough times by this troll. You think he's got like concave like forehead? Just got two scars. The worst part as well is that, like, since Flipendo is your only, like, fallback spell if you run out of magic... 100 XP, though! Hey, there you go, there's a new level of Flipendo. 100 XP is pretty okay, though, isn't it? Next level, 24-7? Yeah, like, that was... What, 4% of my total experience right now? Just that one guy? Also, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, like, yeah, the moment I get a hit all... Oh, that'd be great. Hi, Hagrid. I'll be back to bed, yar. I don't know how much magic it costs, but it probably isn't that much. Compared to... Verdemilius. Or Vermilion, rather. Pick's now. In you go, dear. You have to stop taking silly chances like this, oh, if you don't mind, I'm going to bed. We didn't even see Malfoy. Me too, Trevor can't sleep if I'm not there. 10, I think. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Any more proof that we're gonna convince McGonagall to figure out what the source is from? We don't know, it's not tomorrow, I've had enough adventures, we'll not see Harry. You have returned to Gryffindor from your midnight duel adventure. The halls of Hogwarts at night don't seem quite so forbidding now. Oh. I don't have to quote you on it, because, oh! Days pass. Uh, at least seven days. And I'm still standing the same- oh no, I'm gone. Aren't you tired of Hermione? She thinks she knows everything. It's no wonder no one can stand her. How- how could they say that about me? I was wondering when they'd hear- actually, they, they say that in the film, don't they? Uh, don't- doesn't she? Troll time. Oh, we're doing troll time. Have you seen Hermione Granger? I just saw her, but I don't know where she went. Well, look for her. Everyone is supposed to assemble for the ha- Did they put a apostrophe in Halloween? Halloween? I think that actually is the appropriate like, place to put a apostrophe. Trying to sneak off. Not to pass me, you're not to stay here for the banquet. Oh, okay. Thanks, Snape. You're not supposed to mess up my nice clean dungeon. Okay, thanks, bro. I don't want to fight another troll again. What did I fight? Did I just fight a troll? Oh. I'm going to this door until the penguin starts going to be any more useful. I- you literally can't stop me. You're a ghost. I'm glad the broom closet- closet still exists, but okay, so, uh... So I can't go into the dungeon, or just leave. Have you seen Hermione? She's in the first floor girl's bathroom crying her eyes out. Thanks to you! Oh no, I didn't mean for that to happen. Everyone into the Great Hall, let the Halloween feast begin. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna eat, eat in the feast. Not to save? Oh, good thing I just did. Ch -ch -ch troll on the f, -f, f That's not the dungeon. Ugh. Prefects, lead your houses back to the dormitories immediately. How could a troll get in? Maybe Pease let it in for a Halloween prank. Wait a minute, Hermione doesn't know about the troll. We have to warn her. We have to hurry to find Hermione. She's on the first floor. All right, now can I go to the first floor? Yeah, okay, they just bug it off. They just left. I assume I could probably just wander into any room, right? And Ron's still following me, but at least... The enemies stop spawning. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, am I actually gonna get like... Oh, okay. Oh, Snape! 
It was not- You were not in that room! You were not in that room, Snape! <laughs> you- <laughs> He was not there! He was not there! You smell something? It smells like old socks in a public- Public bathroom? Oh, there he is! Actually dead. That was a clock tower scream right there. Can I go into any other room? Are there gonna be enemies? Oh, there are enemies! Okay, I'm not 100% screwed. We do have enemies. We got these big frogs. That are gonna kill me. That's okay. Why is this health doing that again? Alright, let's, uh, let's just grind a few users of Vermilius, because I know I'm gonna need it. Even though he's not the right- he's not the right enemy to do it on. Also, eight! Oh my gosh, look at that screen clearer. That's a wonderful screen clearer right there. Well, I don't have Incendio leveled up either, but... You know, run away, little frog. By the way, I love how the troll, which, the, the troll gave a bit of issue, but like, for 100 experience, that's not too bad. That little frog, you know, that poison adds up fairly quick, and he only gave 12 experience. There's gotta be something up with, like, the experience curves on this one. Uh, so I'm just curious, if I just throw myself at the troll and die... Where do you go? I, do you just go back to the... To the hospital? Oh my gosh, he's going in. Because I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, this guy's big. Look at him breathing! He's probably weak to Wingardium Leviosa because that's what they use in the film. He, did, he didn't even sneeze on that one. Okay. I hate how hitting B backs out of, like, everything. Alright, Incendio. One. Oh, I'm... I'm gone. I'm gone, skis. Back to the hospital. Or just outside. I got you out just in time! <laughs> you know what, I'll accept that. A little more than, uh... I'll accept that a little more than just, like, being hard stuck. But it's also like, yeah, Ron. Excuse me? Thanks, Ron. Mine is taking a crack. Watching the whole thing in the back there. Uh, okay, so... Incendio didn't do anything. I've got my weak source, Vermilius. Oh, it's a Vermilius thing. Oh, sorry, Verdemilius. There's a D in there. I'm just gonna grind off, uh... I think I'm gonna grind Verdemilius off other things. There's no way I'm fighting this troll. J just to just to demonstrate, Vermilius Tria is one, so there's there's no going with that one. And for Pendo Tria is one, so this is gonna have to be a grind, isn't it? I'm caught in the grind spot. And I keep missing anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much, but... Like, there's no way. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, go to the hospital wing. This is bizarre. This is absolutely bizarre that you just get to this point in the game, and it's like, yeah, if you didn't, like, train this one skill, this one spell, yeah, you're stuffed. You're not- you're not 100% stuffed, but it's like... I've got nothing. I have nothing that can be done to beat that guy. We're almost at the two-hour mark. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Oh, you'll let me go in this room, Ron! You'll let me go in this room, but you won't let me go upstairs! He's not gonna let me go upstairs! Well, hospital wing is a no-go. 
Unless I got rats, I assume these guys are probably going to be weak to it, but... Oh my gosh. I can accept these rats. At least. But they're going to give me, like, bug roll experience, aren't they? Twelve after two... Oh, there's, there's one of the level ups, at least. Those stairs at the bottom, I'll double check. I thought the stair- oh, actually, yeah, the stairs might be at the bottom, but I think Ron might say the same thing if I go any- yeah. So, I'm technically- yeah, so I'm technically not stuck. You did- yeah, you did tell me not to save. I- uh... Well, I, I am so, so at a loss for words, but I feel like no game should really, like, stick you like this. If you're gonna get me into a boss fight like this, throw me into the boss fight. Don't, don't keep me penned up in a small part of the game. Yeah. Now I'm trying to think, what's there a moment in the herbs where that could happen? I don't know, I can't recall if you could permanently stuck yourself in the herbs. There's definitely some things where it's like you can get yourself kind of, like, not stuck, but you kind of have to ride. Yeah, the Diagon Alley one, like, it's the same deal. It's like, well, technically, you could grind your spells, but yeah, like, if you're caught out by level, you just, you've got no, nothing to do. And even then, seven experience. That one troll in the night time would have been great for training. But, you know, you don't get given the opportunity to heal, really. I don't even know what would have happened if you died there. Like, yeah, I, I think that's a big thing, like, when you have an RPG, but you don't have an actual reliable way of healing yourself, that makes me a bit worried. That makes me kind of feel like, oh, am I, like, should I be experimenting? Should I be trying things out, or should I just be playing it safe and going through? I do have Duo now. I don't know if using Duo trains the, the spell any faster than not using Duo. Than using Uno, I guess. Does it? Yeah, this seems bizarre. Alright, oh, I could use it on this guy. Oh, it's a green circle. Green circle is cool, though. The attack animations are neat in this game. I like them. And they give me pepper up potions, so that's okay. Yeah, I... I don't know if I can, like, even... Even describe... Uh, like, just how caught out I feel. Even in Gringotts, the enemies actually drop potions. Yeah, yeah, the power level is crazy. And the worst part as well is that, like... I don't know what to spend the money on unless... The only thing you really should be spending money on is, like, the occasional potion here and there, and a, uh, like, uh, chocolate frogs. So you get the cards. Save, get killed by the troll, and get healed and try with Vodemilius duo. Yeah, I might, I might have a go with that. I, I just want to get killed by, like, one of these guys, really. I'm probably not going to get killed by one of these guys before I just run out of magic. But yeah, if I can if I can get out of being in troll mode, that would be better. So Yeah, man, you know? Like getting getting caught out like that. Oh. It feels pain. It feels painful. But you know what? It's a learning experience and I think Listen, it's kind of interesting playing games that are like this and Weirdly as well, like, I would have never thought any of that with, like, a PS1 game. 
The PS1 game just feels like a nice casual fun little adventure. You go through the set pieces from the film and then it's kind of over in a heartbeat. There's nothing really too weird going on about that. This definitely feels like a uh, more stuck to the film uh, kind of angle they're going for. They still do the classes and they still don't have the music from the film. I feel like if you draw in the, the troll like this, you gotta at least have concept art from the film. There's no way you can model the troll like this. Oh, it was red too, it was a crit. But yeah, like, and if anything, that's probably, this is probably the prime example of why uh, these multi-platform games are kind of interesting in the sense of they aren't the same at all. The frustrations I'm having with this game are exclusively with this game. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't didn't apply to the last one. It's just, you know, this one particular Game Boy Color game, they've decided to completely irk me when it comes to, to leveling. Alright, so Verdimilius Duo. Let's give him the goods. The green circle. That's a bit of damage. But he deals just as much damage back, and that is not a lot of damage on him, is it? I could spam a few items in the middle. And he can sometimes miss, but I don't... Mm, I'm not even confident I've got enough magic to really take... Oh, well, I guess I can just restore magic in the middle of a fight, but... Listen, I could just get lucky and he just misses every single hit, and I will be a happy chappy if he does that. Yeah, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a way I'm gonna beat this guy unless I just level up the spell and then use the higher power version. And even then, I'm probably gonna need to spam a few items in the middle because I don't think I'm gonna last the whole length. It's definitely a bit of damage. I think it, it might be able to get done with the, the higher level one. Maybe. Because as well, when, when I was fighting the rats, the center rat would always deal like 40 damage, and then the two other rats would deal about 20 each. And that meant I was taking 80 damage a turn, and I had a bit less health, and I also didn't really have many healing items. Oh, th thanks Ron, see ya. I'm leaving Ron. Yeah, I think it can be done. And also, just on top of that, I am rather close to another level, so... The the levels aren't not coming. They, they'll definitely get there. One or two potions for health, one for magic. Might be two for magic if I'm spamming them that quickly. Um, or I just need a crit. I just need a crit like that. 105 damage. Just, just give me the goods. So, I'll see how long the grind is. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see if I can do the grind for the troll. The troll grind, if you will. Isn't that bizarre? Like, I, I kind of felt like going into the stream, oh, you know, I, I've probably done about half the game, you know, I've, I'm doing these classes, and then the moment I do the classes, I knew I would kind of get thrust into, you know, the stuff about the Philosopher's Stone, the stuff about, you know, the, the troll, uh, that already seem fluffy. And so it's like, what is possibly left? Like, just you go into the Forbidden Forest and then find the Philosopher's Stone. Maybe they'll chuck some more stuff in the game, but what's the odds it really takes up that much time? Who knows? Uh, man, I want to know if the trio version of Verdemilius has the animation I'm thinking of, or if it's Game 2. I'll definitely say the, the Game 3 animations are nice. They looked at Golden Sun and said, yeah, let's just make that. That's cool. It's all fine. So. There you go. I still... There's... Oh, is there an equation to any of these, like, stats? Level 20. Take two streams of two hours, possibly... Possibly level 50 off-screen. There's got to be a better way to get to level 50, though. Like, I want to figure out, like, that troll enemy. 
If I could just find a troll enemy, or something strong like that, I would love to just be able to fight that a couple of times and call it a day with my leveling. The, the problem is, so many of these enemies, even these rats... Astronomy Tower, that's kind of... That feels like it, that feels like the strat. And it's been locked until this point, like there's nothing... The only thing I could have fought would have been the trolls. I'm getting so much money, like, oh my gosh, I'm at 5,600 now. The room where you're hidden last night has armors, I think you can level up there. Yeah, that'd be good too, but... Man, you know, it's just like, you can't do anything about the troll. And the worst part as well, is that like, I know you said, don't save, but I'm thinking the last time I would have been able to save and freely explore around and grind the enemies that I would like to would have been before I did the flying class. Like, that's how far back I've had the free reign to actually, like, grind. It just feels bizarre to me that they've, like, kept me on the leash here. Maybe that's something both the PS1 game and this have common. They just railroad you into the story and don't let you walk anywhere. I feel like you can, you, if you're making an RPG, okay, to all those out there designing video games, if you're making an RPG, never give me a boss and nothing else to level up on. These enemies, they are not fun to level up on. They take a lot of hits. They really take a lot of hits. At least I'm getting more magic. I think I was at like 73 in the last level. 80 is a bit more comfy now. But still, it's just like... Well, actually, I don't know. I was just thinking like, well, if it takes like 300 experience to level up, that's probably about 20 different groups of encounters. It feels like it takes a while. That is gonna feel like it takes a while, especially if I need to get to level 50. That's a lot of encounters, actually, now I think about it. But it's definitely not like... You know, impossibly slow. But I don't know, I don't think I can really, like, praise how long this grind is gonna be. Especially as well, again, try loving Incendio. Uh, I do wanna, I do wanna just get Verdum. I will do Incendio if I need to just get levels. But I do wanna particularly focus on Verdumilius, um, just to get past the troll. Do I get to set Voldemort on fire? Is that the end boss? There we go. Heck yeah, setting Voldemort on fire. This is the real Harry Potter experience right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's an agility set, or something that determines who goes first in a fight. Incendio makes sense. But also, Harry never casts a spell in the film, so you kind of have to guess who is, like, doing... Who's doing the damage here. Think about it, Ron is following me this whole time, and he's still not contributing. Oh, sorry, Ron, I'm just fighting all the rats. Every single one of them. Incendio was a spell that was the strongest in game 2 in the dueling club, which was great for leveling. Man, I wish yeah, there was something for leveling here, because uh, right now it's just... You know, going strong. I guess, though, it is an RPG. Even though it is a handout one, and I kind of expect it to be shorter. I am also 4 hours... Oh, probably 4 hours 50 in the game. 
I kind of, I feel like I was expecting an RPG to be a bit quicker, but it's also... I don't know, it was, it was going decently quickly. Level 20, that's when Dragon Quest finishes. Gosh, how many... I, I keep saying this as well, there's nothing in the game that particularly tells you when... Like, your spells level up. It's just... <laughs> Eternal Torment, the troll will never hit me. Oh, now he's in me. Gosh, I just want to be able to, like, fight stronger enemies. Like, you have the absolute weakest enemies around me. Because there's no other doors up here, right? Well, not that I can go into. I've only got two rooms. So I guess let's just have a look at, uh, the lower of the two rooms. Are there any different enemies in here? Are these enemies stronger? Look at this math. 24 times 3 is 72. That is correct. I almost misread that, like times as a nine. Oh, these are different color rats, and they are stronger. Maybe this is the real strat here. But they might also not be weak to Verdamilia, so it might be a bit moot. Oh, that's still weak to Verdamilia. Maybe that's a trick, just different room, stronger rats. Okay, so I was getting like 20 experience, or like 15. That's, I mean, that is double the experience, but... I guess if the rats kill me, it might be a bit more okay. But the frogs, the frogs are not weak to Verdamilius, are they? They'll just poison me. They take it. And they just poison you. That's okay. It's not about beating them quick, it's about beating them full stop. Well, it's partially about beating them quick as well. Because the more experience I get, the better, but... Ah, jeez. Give you 12 experience as well. That's actually less than some of the bats in the other, in the other hole. Rat, rat, here's the rat. Lots of rats, jeez. So, yeah, I, I think I mentioned the yellow X's before, but I've got a bit of a decent kind of take on it. I think the big thing uh, that I just wanted to mention was the responses to that one tweet. Um, he actually had a poll on me, he said, are you, you know, do you think this is alright, or do you not like this? Um, and uh, surprisingly to me, uh, three quarters of the responses said, yeah, I actually do like the yellow X's on the, um, on the barrels and stuff. And one quarter said no, and, and the guy making the poll, he didn't like it. And I feel like I kind of get both sides, but I also do feel like this is a more complex question than yes or no to all of these. I think you could definitely say, yes, I don't, or yes, I like the, the yellow X's in Resident Evil 4's case, or no, I don't like it in Resident Evil 4's case. I think overall, um, you're gonna need to, like, figure out, um, sorry, I, I think on a per case basis, it depends on what you need to highlight. Having a brightly colored object in your scene really does help, um, tell the, the player that something is there. And that's great when they don't actually expect something to be there, um, so in this case, uh, I, I think things like uh, in Doom 2016, they've got bright green lights on ledges and stuff telling you, hey, these are within your jumping reach from where you are. And they're neatly designed to kind of not feel like, you know, that they're too far out of the way, but definitely out of the way enough that you might actually miss them, especially if you're in a close quarters engagement. So it's like, oh, you know, there's a bright green flash of light, you know, that shines past while you pan past 
uh, a ledge. So it's like, oh, you know, by the way, that ledge you could grab. I made it light, just for you. Um, but on the flip side, uh, I think, uh, yeah, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think I mentioned, um, has the ability to turn the kind of indicators off. And uh, some people, I haven't played the game, but definitely there's some people who are saying, yeah, like, I actually find it's impossible to find where the ledges are, because there's, you know, there's no indicator. Um, and uh, that's an interesting, like, predicament, where do you have the indicators? Because I feel like it can be a bit insulting to the player if you've got way too many indicators. You don't trust the player enough to... There's another level. But still no Verdamilius 2 or 3. Okay, so another 270 experience at the next level. And I'm sitting on even more money. Mwahahaha. Um, I feel like there is a degree of things can get too insulting if the player uh, has way too many prompts to do something. I think everyone has been through that moment when, uh, you know, they, they try starting up a game and there's just too many tutorials or there's too many, um, like, prompts to, you know, get stuff done or the cutscenes that explain everything go on for too long. Um, I've been playing Nino Kuni 2 recently and uh, I'm about 11 hours in the game and uh, it definitely feels like the game has just, like, gone super quick. Uh, I think good games have indicators in terms of specific level architecture like Assassin's Creed had uh, in the early game. They explicitly teach you those architecture features so you can identify them later. I definitely think games should teach you how to play them. I don't think you should ever really deep end the player. Always give them the ability to recognize that there's a pattern before they're required to execute that pattern a lot. Um, Resident Evil case, are there other breakable windows in the game? There are. There's, there's apparently quite a lot. Um, and uh, especially breakable barrels and crates, it seems like basically every wooden object in the game you might be able to just destroy. Um, uh, I feel like you might be able to find a window that you can't break, but I haven't played Resident Evil 4, so I can't tell you if uh, it's like consistent for the whole game or not. But I can definitely say there are more windows that you can break than can't. I got these frogs still, like, kill you and then they're gonna give you, like, no experience. Because uh, the worst thing you do is have a breakable window and then, be and then before having taught through gameplay, windows aren't breakable. Yeah, that, that as well. You don't want to, like, have the player learn something after thinking that it doesn't work. Like, if I want to know that you can't break the windows in a game, seeing you watch this game just maybe remember how much you can learn through brute force. Yeah, like... I mean, at least with this, it's like, the punishment is just, I'm... Ron just keeps healing me, and I just keep going through it. There, there is no punishment to really, like, doing something bad in this game. The worst punishment is saving right before a boss that you can't, you know, leave anywhere around. I can't go anywhere. Well, I told you about this game is that I learned through trial and error as a kid. You are right, yeah. I feel like that is gonna be the only way that... Uh, I learned stuff about this game. I don't know, how does this compare to getting lost? Because I can't find which classroom is a... Uh, history class. I just want to level up the million, I tell ya. I want to have a crack at the... Crack at the troll again. I luckily, I got scared by the statue on the floor I'm on. So when I saw I noped down and went up the stairs again. Oh! Well, the worst part, though, is that I couldn't go... Like, I went into the room above, or two rooms above where I am now. And I couldn't... Like, there weren't any enemies. Or anything. And then I went in, or out of the room, and then Snape just walked out of the room I was just in. And then because boredom started exploring the library, leveling in the hospital wing. What, yeah, what you probably did was, uh, you saved in the uh the main lobby and you probably could go to the dungeon and then go around it's only really when you go to the first floor will you get locked in no because like i got forced downwards i couldn't like the moment i saw snape 
I couldn't control where I was going. It was before- oh, before doing- okay, ages ago, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the weirdest part is that, like, well, I mean, there's no party system, and there's also no equipment. I'm not buying any equipment. No one sells any equipment in this game. Except for $15,000. At Diagon Alley, so... There's nothing to really, like, stop you from leveling. And there's also nothing to, like, encourage you to level. It's completely of your own volition. But when the game requires you to, to fight stuff, it's like, oh boy, I haven't been doing leveling. And it's weird, because, like, I, I will keep referring to that Prisoner of Azkaban game, but, like, at least in that one, it's like, you get, you get loot off enemies. Enemies will give you stuff. You can buy in Hogwarts, it's like, it's like, you should be able to buy equipment, because buying equipment is... And, and I'm, I'm gonna refer back to Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest, super simple, it also doesn't have a party system, it also doesn't have multiple enemies wailing on you. See, now that encounter gave a decent amount of experience. Game 2 is like this game, but better game design and the same difficulty of combat, you're just three people. Three people is all you need. This game would work much better with a party system, because, uh... Back to my Dragon Quest comparison, like... You only get... Game 3 is too easy. Perhaps, yeah. Oh, it's been like 20 years since I played that one. Um... But in, uh... In Dragon Quest 1, you are a party of one. Uh... And, uh... You're kind of caught out when you don't have the spells that you need. If you can't heal yourself fast enough, you're really caught out. But most of your buffs come from uh, just equipment and things that you're you're holding on to. And a lot of the equipment in, in Dragon Quest 1 is just either you buy it from stores, so you're making money, and then you end up just you know going, Oh, okay, well, I want to commit my money towards this item. And that's it. That's your item. You might find it in a dungeon. And that's, that's it. Super simple. But it does the job. It does the job for, like, what, uh... You know, what your stats should do. And then, there's never a point in the game where you're, like, super caught out. You're never forced into a boss fight, first of all. Uh, if you die, you just go back to the very beginning town. And you walk from there again to where you were, or where you want to be. Um... You're never stuck in, in that kind of stuff. Um... Dragon Quest II has a party system, has more, um items and stuff to go around, um, but it also has a much more dog final boss, which, uh, definitely is just a level grind. It's like, make sure you got the best items and you, you're the, you know, you've reached max or close to max levels on all your characters. Uh, fortunately they give you the best place to fight for that outside where, um, well, where the castle to the final boss is, but, uh, Unfortunately, you're kind of going to run into that leveling brick wall, whereas I don't remember if there was one of those for Dragon Quest 1. But Dragon Quest 1 kind of is entirely a grind, because there's not many bosses in the game. It all is just a routine, like, fight enemies to level up, and then you get money, which you buy on uh, equipment, and you might explore and find some equipment, but in the end, you rinse and repeat that loop. And you just find more enemies and so on. I think that loop works. Here, well, we don't have the equipment, and we don't have the enemies. I mean, I played this game not long after the original Pokemon. Um, yeah, Pokemon's a, also another one where it's like... Yeah, Pokemon... The earlier ones do get very grindy because... There is a... Kind of sizable gap in uh, difficulty... Uh, between some of the gyms, and especially some of the gym leaders and the Pokemon around them. Uh, cough, cough, uh, when I played Gold uh, at the end of 2021. Was that the end of 2021? I think it was. Or was it the beginning of 22? Gosh, like, I haven't been streaming for that long. One of these streams has probably been my, uh, 100th stream. So, congrats to me. Get out the streamers. Uh, but, yeah, I, like, shout out to whole dedicated stream of me fighting Pokemon outside Victory Road for, for, for one stream, and that was it. 
But yeah, early Pokemon is a bit like that, and I feel like these games, the easy answer is, oh, well, they're, you know, they're RPGs, they want to pad out the playtime. I don't really know who would be too upset by this game being, like, a couple of hours shorter because you don't have to grind. I, I feel like I would just accept the no grind. Um, and that's why I find, uh, once you get to, like, Dragon Quest V, I know it's five, so it's like, oh, okay. It's a fair bit later in the franchise, but especially the, um, uh, like, if you can never play five, it's like, oh, that, that experience curve is perfect. There's nothing to really, like, argue with when it comes to how you get just enough experience, really, to get you up to the boss fights, and then have a very decent shot of being able to beat all the bosses. I do like Flipendo. Flipendo is nice. Man, the frogs, they just don't give you money. Or they don't give you experience. It's all rat gaming. Yeah, how many uses of the spells do you need to level up? It just... This feels like it's going on for so long. I think I'm seeing 150. 150 uses of Verdemilius. Just, just, in general. I don't know if that's Verdemilius Duo. Probably not, doesn't feel like it. And I also don't know if that's including the amount that it took to get to Verdemilius Duo, but... The rats do a backflip every time you hit them, so that's fun. I, I am enjoying getting multiple Grand Wigan Welds, though. I'll tell you that. Like, how many of these do I have? Five? Well, that's more than what I had before. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna get totally caught out when I don't have... I'm not sure if spell leveling was fully linear. I... yeah, I, I feel like it's just a number of uses. Like, that's just it. It's fairly simple, but... Uh, so... Anyway, on the, on the topic of, of shiny things in games, uh... My take on it is that, one, I don't really feel like Resident Evil 4 needs... the... Uh, the shiny boxes, and that's just because... I didn't- I never thought people had problems with it. I don't personally know whether I would feel like I have that problem or not. Uh, but I definitely feel like there are some games out there, like Mirror's Edge, where... You know, you can kind of shove in the brightly colored objects as part of your... Uh, shine- Oh, exactly, I need my shiny loot boxes. But, like, you can do the, sh the brightly colored objects as part of a very, like, abstract art style that works pretty nicely. Um, but you could definitely say as well, Mirror's Edge doesn't, like... Like, with that highlighting turned on, I can't- I can't tell you about the sequel. I haven't played the sequel yet. It's been running in my Steam library for a little bit. Um, yeah, I- I like the look of Mirror's Edge, and I think people will unanimously still say Mirror's Edge still looks great today, despite being a 2009, 2008 game. Um, and there's a lot of 2008, 2009 games that still look good, but this is one of them, and I think it's just the art style. The art style makes it work. It pops. It's- it's great. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, the game kind of plays itself. I'm not saying it's a, it's a bad game, but definitely, you know, if you don't have the indicators, I get super lost. If I do have the indicators, I just know exactly where to go, and that's fine, but... Okay, level 23. I am- I'm at least getting levels while I'm chilling in this room. These spiders are doing- doing wonders to my levels. What was that, level 19 when I started fighting the troll? Well, I- you know, I don't have the hospital room, but I do have this. Anyways, so... Uh... So, in- in Mirror's Edge case, I don't really know... Yeah, I definitely know I commented on getting to level 20. 
Because, yeah, 64 experience, like, once the levels take, like, 300, 400 experience to, to level up, 64, you know, I've dropped that 20 encounters I had calculated earlier, down to, like, 5 or 6. 5 or 6 feels a lot more manageable. 5 or 6 also makes me think, hmm, that's going to be quite a few levels before my Vermidilius levels up, but... Yeah, we should be... Getting there. Getting there, at least. Uh, but, yeah, the, the... I don't know whether Mirror's Edge is good because of that highlighting kind of gameplay, or whether it's kind of obvious and hand-holdy because of that. I don't know if it's really clicked in my head which of the two camps it is, but... I would definitely say if it's something where I expect the player to just, like, you know, smash every object in the game, I'd probably prefer for those objects to be a little more discreet. I don't think you have to make them too obvious that they're right there in the scene so much so that you've, uh, kind of pulled out of realism. Like, not every box is gonna have a yellow X mark on it in real life, so why would... why would that be a thing? Now, I see some counterexamples. Some people are like, yeah, but a lot of explosive barrels in games are red. And that is somewhat a point. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, I'll just keep going until I die. Make it uh, not obvious. Uh, not obvious, obvious, but teach the principle. Yeah, definitely teach the principle that things blow up. Um, and I, d I definitely think don't change the look of things. That's definitely a big one. But players will learn what your explosive barrels look like the more they see exploding barrels. They're not gonna, like, comment on, um, I'm just gonna use Incendio, we'll see how much Incendio does. The answer is not much. Oh yeah, what? why don't I actually use, uh, uh, Verdemilius Tria? It does not hit all of them, so let's see how it goes. Ooh, green wheel! Green wheel! We got the green wheel going. Also, how much was that? I'll well, never know, because I'm running out of magic. A oh, 16, I think. So, I'm definitely going to burn to the magic a bit, but... Yeah, let's have a crack at the troll. I feel decently confident that I've got enough, like, you know, I've picked up enough of the healing potions. So I'm gonna- I'm just gonna throw myself at the troll, so he kills me, so I heal. Thanks, Ron, by the way, for not letting me heal when I talk to you. You have to wait for me to- to die to anything. Also, just as a curious note, I love how when I die in the other room, Ron keeps me outside the bathroom. Like, I am in this- this exact spot, when I died in the other room fairly way away. Okay, so, let's save, just so I don't- burn potions that I don't need to burn. But pretty much, I mean, is this fight gonna be spam the good spell and... and then pray? Maybe. I got a lot more health now. I was right on like 200 before, so... Verdemilius Tria. Oh, his, his torso... I used the wrong, the wrong one. They both start with V. No, so let's just have a crack at it. Let's just have a crack at it. Gosh, I wish I could hit like select, you know, put them on a... Put them on a safe list. Or bo bonus points, do what the... Funny number. Do what the, the, the third game did, which is you put all of Flipendo under one menu. You put all of Vermilius under one menu. Why Why is it a list that scrolls like this? Well, it turns out Harry is just gonna dodge all the hits. Ah, so the second game is really where it all is. Well, I can definitely say, yeah, this guy doesn't do enough damage to really, like, cause a threat to me. Like, yeah, he's gonna hit me sometimes, I guess, but... Yeah, okay, so this is literally just a Verdemilius Tria filter. This is just a Verdemilius Tria filter. There is no challenge to this boss fight once you get Verdemilius Tria. I am going to use a healing potion. 
and then I'm going to get him. I don't think the levels did much, to be honest. I think it is, just... Also, I'm getting very lucky with him missing me quite a bit. But I don't think it's the levels. Am I gonna get through this with... I do have a little more health. I feel like I probably would have popped a healing potion by now. But to be honest... So I did this troll fight by only using one magic healing potion. One magic restoring potion. That was it. <laughs> I grinded a bit and I was grinding purely for a spell. The only thing Game 3 did new was the overworld magic usage. I think the overworld magic usage was brought from the Game Boy Advance versions of this game. Because that feels like it's got some stuff here. Uh, some stuff going on and who knows if I'll play the GBA game. <laughs> I'm leaving out the PC game. And then I guess we'll come back for the other two. Ew, girls' bathroom. Oh my gosh, Professor McGonagall is just taking a poop in the corner. Did you three go looking for that troll? You're lucky you weren't killed. <laughs> More like unlucky, bro. I went looking for the troll alone. I thought I could deal with it since I've read all about them. If Ron and Harry hadn't found me, I'd be dead now. So this is your responsibility. Five points are taken from Gryffindor. Return to your dormitory. Where did I get all these house points from? I have not been getting house points today. Well, yeah, that was a GG. That was about the amount of time I was expecting this to take as well, so that's good. As for you two, not many first years could have taken on a full room mountain troll. You two win five points for Gryffindor. Listen, the Gryffindor teacher is very, uh, you know, uh, disappointed and pleased. You have defeated the troll and saved Hermione. You can you feel the new card combination available in the Wizard Card Collectors Club that is a just reward for your heroism. Okay. Okay, see? <laughs> is she just gonna comment, like, get out of the girl's bathroom? No, she is stuck there. She is full stuck there. Okay, let's get to... It was good of you to get us out of trouble like that. Well, you saved me even after the way I've acted! Look, we literally- Oh, see if I can go to the hospital wing? Okay. Look, we should be friends and help each other. Defeating a troll is the kind of thing that brings people together. Okay. We should have been given more house points for that, you know? I had an idea we should go talk to Hagrid. He's the gamekeeper and knows about animals. Maybe he knows something about the three-headed dog. I hadn't thought about that. If he doesn't already know, I bet he could find out. Let's go! Master thing, biting me like that. How are you supposed to keep your eyes on all three heads at once? Excuse me, is something wrong? You're limping! Are you spying on me, Potter? Perhaps you should pay more attention to your studies and list of things that don't concern you. Oh my gosh. Lots of stuff to do and rooms you have to figure out. Three heads! He tried to get past that three-headed dog at Halloween! And I bet he let the troll in as a diversion. Let's get to Hagrid's! Okay. So, yeah, I- to the hospital, uh, which is this way. <laughs> so, yeah, I- I assume continue the story by going to Hagrid's in the other direction. Two streams, possibly three- well, I- oh, as in two streams more after this. No, we gotta be near the end, right? Because, like, it shouldn't take too much longer to max out the skills. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see one, the hospital room that you're referring to, because then I know what it is. Gosh, I hate the layout of this place. Jeez. You get the stealth cape. Ooh. But yeah, I should have been hitting select. And that was something I forgot. So, yell at me all you want, because at the beginning of the stream, I think I said, I don't know where I am. There's nothing in the game that tells me what floor I'm on. Where's the lady to heal me? Because I'm still damaged from the troll fight. There you are. Hello, please, please give me the juice. Alright, so the room to the right, here we go. They got toilet seats all in here. This, this is the same big rat that I was fighting earlier, right? Like in the math room. I guess that's convenient that the... Oh, my controller unplugged. Cool. Cool. My controller sometimes has been doing that now. 
and I worry that I'm about to cause the game to crash by unplugging. Did I just do it? Did I just cause the game to crash by unplugging my controller? <sighs> Guess who didn't save after the troll fight? I saved before the troll fight, but ah, uh, ah, uh, this was so I, I yeah. This is something that affected me in all the streams as well. It's really irritating. That is a big rip. And yeah, the worst part is that the, the controller is like detected fine. It comes up in RetroArch all fine, but... Also, uh, yeah, if you notice, the game is paused, but RetroArch is fine. That is super curse. so... Alright, well, I guess uh, I will refight the troll off screen. That was the only thing I lost progress on, but... Oh well. Well, I guess any, any better place to stop the stream than there, so... With that, uh, thank you very much for watching, and, uh... Man, yeah, I, I do not know why this behavior has come back. You might be able to go to the Astronomy Tower. Since I'm supposed to take the dragon there later. Yeah, I'll give it a look. I'll give it a look. Um, I'm not gonna do grinding off screen. I'm just gonna kinda fight the troll again and just sit out tight. Um, but other than that, yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, uh, just feel free to follow here or subscribe on YouTube, that kind of stuff. And uh, if you miss any part, you can just see the VOD on YouTube later. Uh, this game is turning my brain to mush because of how baffling some of its design decisions are. I'm still having a decent time, but it's... oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll definitely remember the end of this stream, but... I'm going to be super worried if streams in the future, <laughs> Retroarch decides to have a, a moment like that, you know? Was it Retroarch, or was it just the Game Boy Core? Who knows? And it's still stuck. It ain't going anywhere, so... Alright, have a good one, everyone. Sleep tight.